Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk as you well know by now and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Sage or Breville Barista Express. By the way, just before I continue, I can't help but notice that 92% of the people watching this video right now are not subscribed. If you don't like my content, understood, don't support me by doing the things like clicking the like button, commenting and most importantly subscribing. But if you do enjoy my content, however, why not do me a huge favour and subscribe? It makes a huge difference, but also you'll be doing yourself a favour too, as long as you like my videos, especially if you click the bell image to allow notifications. So if you saw my last video, which was a side-by-side -side comparison of the Barista Express and the Barista Pro, click here for that if you didn't see it, you'll know that I'm gonna be giving away this machine to a Patreon supporter, also known as Accredited Coffee Botherer. I'm just doing four videos with the Express in addition to the side-by-side -side comparison. This first one, which is an overview review of the Barista Express. The next one, which is gonna be a side-by-side -side comparison of the Barista Express versus a Bambino Plus and Smart Grinder Pro. And by the way, click here if you wanna see the side-by-side -side comparison I did of the Barista Pro and the Bambino Plus and Smart Grinder Pro. I'm then going to do a video looking at pulling shots with the Barista Express and talking about dialing in. And the final video is going to be a quick milk steaming tutorial, specifically with the Barista Express, as it's slightly different on each machine, mainly because of the steam tips. And then this machine will be given away to a Patreon supporter. And just to touch on the Sage Breville thing, and sorry if I sound like a broken record because I have discussed this a few times, I talked about it in the last video, but basically Sage machines in the UK, Sage appliances are known everywhere else in the world, I think pretty much as Breville. And they're made or they're designed by Breville Australia. But Breville sold the brand name here in the UK and I think the rest of Europe in the 80s so these machines can't be sold as Breville in the UK so instead they're sold under the brand name of Sage Appliances so if you do see a Breville machine a machine labeled as Breville selling in the UK for example in Curry's PC World or online that isn't the same machine a few people have told me they've accidentally bought Breville machines thinking they were Sage machines there are some that look spookily similar but they're not the same machines. If you're new to home barista in and you're on a fairly tight budget, then this is probably gonna be high up on your list of potential machines to go for. The 599, 599 pounds in the UK at RRP, 699 dollars in the States, and 999 dollars, let's call it a thousand dollars in Australia. You can find them cheaper than this sometimes, although at the moment offers are thin on the ground as suppliers are actually struggling to meet the demand, so you'll find it harder to find a deal. If you're in the UK though, email me, kev at coffeeblog.co.uk, and if I do have an active discount code to share, I'll email it to you. Unfortunately, that's UK only, because they only get discount codes occasionally from Sage appliances in the UK. At this kind of price, and even more so when you can get hold of one for around 500 or less, it's a decent machine for the money, given that it includes the grinder. The grinder has 18 grind settings, adjustable here, by the grind settings knob. It's a timer grinder, you adjust the time here, but you can stop the grind at any time by just pushing the porter filter back into the cradle and you push it in to start as well. The hopper is removable as it is with the Smart Grinder Pro and the Barista Pro. You just unlock it like this and when you do that, you're actually closing the hopper. So really handy if you've got a hopper full of beans, but you wanted to put them back into an airtight container or into a bag, you just unlock it, empty the beans into your bag, and then back in. So that is handy. It has a nice big two litre water tank, as does the Barista Pro. And in the UK at least, it comes with a filter, a water filter. I'm not sure if it does in other countries, but it does in the UK. It has a nice big drip tray, and if I pull this out, you'll see it's a decent size. And there's this really clever little storage compartment as well, which is the same 
on the Barista Pro and dual boiler and the overcut machines. It has a 54 mil Porter filter, as do all the Sage or Breville machines, until the dual boiler. The dual boiler and the Oracle machines all have a commercial size 58mm Porter filter. It comes with both single and double shot standard baskets and pressurised baskets, but if you're doing the home barista thing, you'll be using the standard baskets. It has a pressure gauge here, and it pulls shots at nine bars of pressure by the way. And this is something I've noticed some confusion about on Reddit and various forums because the Sage machines have a 15 bar pump. So some people think that it pulls shots at 15 bars of pressure, but that's not the case. They have overpressure valves that are set to keep the pressure at nine bars. So they aim to pull the shots at nine bars of pressure, not 15. It has a hot water spout here, steam wand with a single hole steam tip. And the steaming on this machine is great for learning. It's not quick, it'll take you about a minute and 10 seconds to get 200 ml of milk up to around 60 degrees Celsius. But that does give you time to adjust and get the texture perfect. The Pro and the Bambino Plus are quite a bit faster, mainly because of the four hole steam tip they come with versus a single hole steam tip on the Brister Express. The Express has the original Sage Thermocoil, which means warm-up time is around 35, 40 seconds, which is very quick, but not as quick as the newer Thermojet that they've developed, which is in the Barista Pro and the Bambino Plus. These machines with the Thermojet heat up in three seconds and have a much faster steam ready time. They also make a bit less of a fuss when cooling down after steaming. The Express growls and hisses for a while while cooling down after steaming. The Thermojet machine don't do that. On the plus side for the Express though, with the original Thermocoil, it's a bigger unit. It takes a bit longer for the Thermocoil to heat up and it gives off more heat. So the cup warmer is usable. The cup warmer on the Barista Pro with the Thermojet doesn't really get warm enough to keep cups particularly warm. For more on that, see the last video here where I compare the two. It has a PID, which means temperature control, and it's adjustable so you can adjust the brew temperature. So if you're using a particularly light roasted bean, you might go hotter. And if you're using a dark roasted bean, you might go slightly cooler. This gives you an extra tool when it comes to dialing in. It has low pressure pre-infusion, automated and manual. It has single and double shot buttons, which are programmable, or you can just pull the shot manually. It has an integrated tamper, which neatly slots into this magnetic slot. And they really are smart people at Breville, Australia, where these machines are designed. They really do obviously spend a lot of time thinking about how to make their machines as user-friendly as possible. And when it comes to user-friendliness, overall, I really think the Sage or Breville machines are hard to beat, to be honest. Yes, there are other machines to look at, at a similar price point, which may yield better results with some modding, and which may be better for longevity, for example, the Gadget Classic, the Gadget Classic Pro, which could easily last 20 years plus and will retain value as well over that period. But in terms of results straight out of the box, features and user friendliness, as I say, Sage or Breville machines are very hard to beat. I used the Barista Express for a while when I was writing my Barista Express review, which you can read at coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash BE. And overall, I think this is a great machine for the money. The one niggle I had was grind settings. It's not about grinding range. This will get fine enough or coarse enough for most beans. It's about the fine tuning, it's not that fine. The 18 grind settings are quite far apart, so when you're adjusting the grind to dial in, you're making fairly big grind adjustments. This is one thing we've addressed with the Pro, which has the same grinding range, but 30 steps versus 18. Other than that though, keeping in mind that this is a 600 pound machine at RRP and includes the grinder, I really can't fault this machine. I honestly think it's one of the best low cost options for making espresso at home. The only thing I'd say at the moment, while there aren't many deals on for the Express due to the switching around of supply and demand, the difference between this and the Barista Pro is only about a hundred quid. Personally, I'd pay that for the ability to get better fine tuning 
on the ground adjustment and also for the easier LCD controls for getting into the cleaning cycles, adjusting the shot buttons and changing the brew temperature and also for the shot timer which I find very handy. The Express does have one thing over the Pro which is the pressure gauge but honestly I don't think it's needed. It's a neat little thing to look at but honestly you don't need a pressure gauge and the LCD display on the Pro with the shot timer is way more useful in my humble opinion. So there you go, that's my overview review of the Sage or Breville Barista Express. Remember, if you're going to buy one, if you're in the UK, drop me an email first just in case I happen to have an active discount code, kev at coffeeblog.co.uk. And remember to subscribe. Help me get that subscriber rate up from the measly 8% it's currently at. And if you allow notifications, you'll be alerted when the next videos are uploaded. And as I said earlier, once I've done the other few videos I'm about to record, I'm giving this away. So thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video today, I'm going to say don't watch one of my other videos. Instead, click here in a minute when the video pops up to watch an amazing video by Lance Hedrick that I've just watched, which two videos actually, on understanding espresso extraction and dialing in. Brilliant video, and I think you'll find it really useful. Don't forget, to become an official Coffee Botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to this channel. And to become an accredited Coffee Botherer, go to patreon.com forward slash coffeeblogkev. Tatty bye.